Hello, my friends. I have big news to share with all of you. The House of Representatives and Senate have only a few weeks before a new government shutdown deadline. And some of you may be able to receive some extra relief money if you are struggling to pay your rent or mortgage. Many U.S. states have proposed new housing relief assistance for their residents. So, dear friends of mine, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video. Also, please know that I'll be giving away four $75 Walmart gift cards every week. Please enter these giveaways. All you have to do, friends, is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, the more likely your chances of winning these giveaways. And friends, I'll be announcing a winner for the Walmart gift card giveaway in a video later today. So please make sure that you do stay tuned. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to say a few words uh, not only about the negotiations between railroad workers and uh, the railroad management, but also to put that crisis uh, into a broader economic context. Uh, Mr. President, uh, it seems clear to me, and I think the polls indicate it, that the American people are becoming increasingly disgusted by the corporate greed they are seeing and experiencing every single day. They look out around them and they see three people on top owning more wealth than the bottom half of American society. They see corporate profits soaring while the prices they pay for the products they need continue to go up. They see CEOs of major corporations now making 400 times more than the average worker at that corporation. They have seen during this terrible pandemic, when tens of thousands of workers died because they had to go to work, they have seen the billionaire class make two trillion dollar, two trillion dollars more in their wealth. Further, they look around them, and while the very wealthiest people in America become much richer, they walk down the street and they see people sleeping out on the sidewalks. We got almost 600,000 Americans who are homeless. People can't afford their health care costs. We have 85 million Americans who are uninsured or underinsured. In other words, the economy is doing really, really, really well for CEOs and billionaires. But for the average American worker, he or she is falling further and further behind. Many states across our country have sent checks or given tax rebates in an effort to provide relief from inflation that is running near four decade highs. About 20 U.S. states have offered some form of relief benefit this year as prices for food, electricity, gasoline, and other essentials have skyrocketed since the world reemerged from the crisis-induced lockdowns that brought the economy to a screeching halt before roaring back to life with vast federal stimulus. Many states have flush coffers and budget surpluses, and that's thanks to a vast federal crisis relief funding and increased tax revenue as economies rebounded from the crisis. High inflation and gas prices throughout this year have also prompted multiple state legislatures to offer tax holidays and other tax cuts as a form of relief. Residents of the state of New Jersey have an extra month to apply for a tax relief program that could return up to $1,500. The application for the affordable New Jersey Communities for Homeowners and Renters Program, also known as Anchor, has been set for January 31st of next year. Homeowners with incomes of up to $150,000 a year will be eligible to receive $1,500 in relief, while homeowners making between $150,000 a year and $250,000 annually 
will be eligible to receive $1,000. New Jersey Senate President Nicholas Scutari said, For the residents of New Jersey, affordability is the most pressing issue, and property taxes are the greatest burden. We are making use of resources to address this need by helping homeowners and renters with direct financial assistance. Renters are also eligible for this program, though they will only be eligible to receive $450 if they make less than $150,000 a year. The deadline for applications was originally set for December 31st, 2022, but was pushed back one month to allow as many people who are eligible to apply. Democratic Governor Phil Murphy and Assembly Speaker Craig Coughlin will embark on an aggressive advertising and marketing campaign to ensure that all people are aware of the program. The eligibility of New Jersey homeowners and renters requires them to have occupied their primary residence on October 1st, 2019, and for them to file or be exempt from New Jersey income taxes. According to state officials, renters and homeowners interested in applying can do so online. Friends, the key word for this video is Morning Star Lake. If you would like to enter today's $75 Walmart gift card giveaway, Please click and like several of my videos and comment below this keyword, which is Morning Star Lake, and additional keywords of any video of mine that you watch. And do make sure, friends, that you're also subscribed to my channel. Today, congressional leaders left a meeting with President Biden, resolving to both quickly avert a national railroad strike in the coming weeks and negotiate a $1.5 trillion plus year end spending bill. In the next coming days, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said the Senate will work to pass a railroad agreement as quickly as possible after the House takes it up. The railroad industry, its unions and government officials have negotiated for months on a worker contract, but with a potential strike looming as soon as December 9th, President Biden has called on Congress to step in and impose a current agreement which some unions have deemed insufficient. However, according to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's spokesperson, left out of the meeting was any talk of increasing the nation's debt ceiling before the end of the year. Senator Chuck Schumer said that Democrats and Republicans should still work together to lift the nation's debt limit by the end of this year. After the White House visits, Senator Mitch McConnell stated, We had a really good meeting that laid out the challenges that we're all collectively facing here. I think there's widespread agreement that we'd be better off with an omnibus bill than a temporary spending patch, but there are some significant hurdles to get over to do that. The next few weeks amount to one of the more jam-packed lame duck sessions of Congress in recent memory, with major items on the legislative to-do list delayed until after the midterms. Adding to the already massive to-do list, President Biden asked Congress this week to intervene in the potential rail strike, while Nancy Pelosi said that the House will take a crucial vote this week to ward off the stoppage. Channeling progressive and labor angst about the rail agreement, Senator Bernie Sanders said he would not go along with leadership quietly. So, dear friends, what are your thoughts about this potential railroad strike? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Well, my amazing and beautiful friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for this Wednesday evening. Friends, I want to say thank you so much for joining me here today. And I greatly appreciate every single one of you. I will be announcing a winner for the $75 Walmart gift card giveaway in a video later today. So do make sure, friends, that you do stay tuned for that video. Thank you and have a wonderful and blessed evening.